what did Harmon Killebrew mean to you? I mean, Harmon's as good as it gets, you know, on and off the field. I mean, his Hall of Fame resume speaks for itself, but everything he did for everyone else, you know, he was such a selfless person and, and always had time for everyone that he came in contact with and, and you know, made a difference in everyone's lives. I mean, he, you know, when he was done, all his work through all his charity work, all his found, through his foundation, you know, his golf tournament in Minnesota, his golf tournament in Arizona, I mean, there's it's endless. And, and, you know, a lot of times when, when you lose someone, people search for, for things to say. And, you know, you don't have to search for anything to say about Harmon. I mean, you, you talk to anybody that's ever come in contact with him, and all they have to say is good things. And, and you know, they don't have to think about it. It's the first thing that comes to mind in Harmon is, is what a nice person he was and what a difference he made in other people's lives. What kind of influence did he have on you as a ball player and as an athlete, like on the personal side as an athlete? Yeah, I mean, he just – we talked hitting, you know. I'd, I'd love to pick his brain any any chance I got. You know, he was uh, he was a guy that hit a lot of home runs, and, and being a first baseman, uh, that's something I'd obviously like to do more of. But you know, it's a, it's one of those things that you don't talk to too many power hitters that admit they were trying to hit homers. You know, a lot of guys say they're up there trying to hit it hard, and you know, good things will happen. But he'll, he'll tell you, you know, if the game was on the line in the eighth inning and there was a chance for him to win it, he'll he'll, he'll tell you, yeah, I was trying to hit a homer. I was trying to get a pitch to hit a homer. And, and you know, to hear guys say that instead of just saying they were just up there trying to hit it hard, it's, uh, you know, that kind of speaks to his honesty and, and how he was. And, and you know, uh, I wasn't fortunate enough to get a chance to play, but anybody who saw him play saw, said how much power he had and, and how far he would hit the ball. and. and and just uh, how great of a player he was. Led me right into my next question. From what you know, what do you think it would have been like to have Harmon as a teammate? Well, I mean, he'd be the best. I think he kind of epitomizes what it means to be a Minnesota twin. You know, he he plays for his, you know for his teammates. He's a team guy. He was he was a guy that cared about everyone around him, and and that's what we try and do here is is stick together. You know, through through good times or bad. You know, we we try to remember we're all on the same team. We're we're here for each other. You know, it's a family atmosphere. And, and Harmon was that kind of guy. And and you know, he was the original the original Minnesota twin. And and he's the guy that you know went in the Hall of Fame with a Twins hat on. And and you know, we're lucky just to have known him. I don't want to like put you on the spot but what memory or, or anecdote or story will you do you think you will remember the most from your times meeting Harmon <laughs> well I remember I don't know if it was the first time I met him but it was very early uh, my first twins fest uh, I was 19 or 20 years old coming in and you know I I'd spent some time in high school working on my signature and, and I thought it was pretty good and, and until I saw his and, and until he saw it and he sat me down and you know, we worked on it for a good half hour, probably 45 minutes of me just signing my name so he could read it. And, you know, it, it's kind of a funny story, but, you know, you, that's kind of how he was with everybody. You look at Michael Kadire's signature and, and, you know, obviously we're talking about signatures here, but that kind of sums up how he was as a person. You know, you see a, a kid that's an A-ball or double-A come in and, and he's willing to sit down with them and, and talk to them and, and just try and show them the way, you know, doesn't know him from doesn't know me from Adam and then and for him to take the time to do that just kind of speaks to how the kind of person he was and he just wanted to see everyone do well no matter if they were a top prospect or, or somebody that was you know in the organization whatever it was he was there for you and, and you know that's something I'll always remember and, and you know I think my signature is a little better because of him that's for sure so.